Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Coming with the last video I think I would be able to do about uh, improving your raid game, improving your Lux output in order to get those top ranks, help your party get into those top ranks, and you know, being able to meet like Lux minimums if you're in parties that have Lux minimums. This video, we are going to be talking about speed again. The last video we talked about speed of defeating the raid boss, which you know, mainly focused on multipliers, talked about single target versus AOE versus random target metals, kind of finding where your strengths are and then going with that. This one is going to be about the speed of spawning those raid bosses. So the topic I want to talk about is speed, uh, not speed tickets, is skip tickets. So what we're going to do now is we're going to time how long it takes in order to generate a raid boss just going with conventional methods. So I'm going to have my timer up here. It's already going because I already hit yes. So we are going to go here and hit this guy. And then we have to wait for that to go through. Then we're going to go here and hit this guy. And we're going to stop it once it gets to our rewards page because that's where the skip ticket takes you. It takes you to that rewards page where it kind of shows you, you know, all your stats, all the money you got, all the lux you got, all that stuff. Okay, boom. So it took it took about 30 seconds to get through that quest, just to get through the quest. Now we're not going to defeat the raid boss. There's no point into defeating the raid boss now, because the point is to show you speed of spawning the raid boss. There is a little condition to this, and that is the uh, this quest needs to generate at least three eggs. So one egg on either the top or the bottom, as well as the two eggs that are in the target. Because this is going to be, an, uh, again, in a later video, and, you know, going to talk about it a little bit more. Uh, but it takes three eggs to spawn that raid boss. So... Let's go ahead and, you know what, actually we have to defeat the raid boss in order for this to make, you know, a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and get rid of this raid boss. Uh, I don't have good video editing software, so I won't be able to just, you know, straight up cut this part out. But like you saw in the previous videos, I was able to get through this raid boss in like a minute and 20 seconds. So go ahead and skip like a minute and 20-ish seconds ahead if you don't want to see me fight this raid boss. If you don't want to see my weird awkward commentary that I try to make in between like cuts where I know where cuts should be or where I just like to nerd out and talk about just random things uh, but now let's go ahead just try and get through this raid boss as fast as we can so I can show you the spawn rate when you're using skip tickets and how much less time it takes so this is another reason that whales are able to you know get really really high lux ranks is because they have skip tickets and skip tickets will mitigate the amount of time you spend you know, in the raid boss spawning quest. So that quest that we just did, that took 30 seconds to beat, we're going to show you how fast you can do it when you're using skip tickets, which is essential for, you know, whales getting in the top rankings for certain parties to do really well during raid weeks. It only hit me sort of recently because I never really used skip tickets for anything uh, for the most part, but raiding is a really good reason to use skip tickets. So let's go ahead and skip this. It's not a good reason to use premium skip tickets. Don't use those. Just use your regular whatever skip tickets if you have them. Skip tickets are only available to pay to play players that don't that buy more than just the VIP. So if you don't ever get them, that's probably why. All right, so let's go ahead. We have six minutes left to show this. So I'm gonna hit begin and then I am going to hit confirm. In confirm, you're gonna see those skip tickets generated at the bottom. So let's go ahead. We have the timer running, so we've already like lost a second or two. Let's go ahead, use our skip ticket. Boom, we are at the last second. Or we are at the we are at the you know part where it shows our stats. It took like eight seconds. It took almost twenty full seconds less than you know the other the uh the one where we had to do it normally. And there it is. There's our raid boss, twenty seconds less which really adds up in the end when you consider how many times a person has to go through that spawning quest just to get the raid boss out. So when you think about it, really the only thing whales worry about is, you know, how long does it take me to get through the raid boss? Because they'll just use skip tickets to get through the quest. And as you can see, using the skip ticket saved us 20 full seconds, and it takes about a minute to a minute and a half 
for a super powerful setup to be able to run through the raid boss. So pretty much using three skip tickets on that quest nets you an extra raid boss altogether. And that's, you know, netting extra lux. That is getting through these raid bosses faster. So that's my video about skip tickets and how to use them for building Lux, especially if you have a bunch. Like there's one guy in the Facebook group I'm in, he has so many skip tickets that, you know, the counter only goes up to 999. He's using skip tickets and the number isn't going down. He's just got that many. It's crazy. It's awesome. Uh, and that's totally cool that he can do that. Uh, but that being said, this is my video about skip tickets and how to use them in order to boost your Lux game. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to throw them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. But until the next video, everyone, take it easy.